everyone, welcome back to another week cooking with Square Food Foundation and this week we have a very delicious instant lemon and lime cheesecake and the best thing about it, we don't have to bake it, really easy to make and sets in about two hours. So a fantastic pudding for the weekend, so I do hope you enjoy it. First thing you're going to do is take your digestive biscuits and crush them with the end of a rolling pin until it resembles breadcrumbs. Pop the butter in a saucepan and melt until it's foaming. Pour over the crumbs and mix until it's all beautifully coated. Pour it into your preferred tin Press it down with a metal spoon until it's lovely and smooth and then you're going to place it in the fridge for an hour to chill. Take your lemons and limes and you're going to zest all of the fruit, just making sure that you keep turning. You only want the yellow and sort of green part of the fruit, any of the white parts slightly bitter, so we try to avoid that. Leave it to one side. Cut the fruit in half and then either over a sieve, just squeeze it through into a cup or using a juicer. Collect all the juice and leave that to one side. In a separate bowl, add your double cream and whisk it until it's really nice and thick and it should hold inside the whisk nice and stiff. But try not to over whisk it because it can separate. Add in all of your condensed milk, making sure to scrape out every little bit from the tin. Stir to combine, and don't worry that it might sort of loosen down a little bit. It's gonna thicken up a little bit later with the lemon juice. Add in the zest, leaving some back for decoration later, and all of that lemon and lime juice. And mix until it becomes this amazing thick custardy consistency. When it's nice and thick and combined, you're going to pour it over your chilled base, making sure you get all of it out of the bowl. And then you're going to smooth it all the way to the edges. And then you could decorate it how you like, either with some fresh raspberries or a bit of extra lemon zest and pop it in the fridge. It should be ready in about an hour or you can leave it overnight. with us this week i hope you enjoyed the recipe please send in your pictures and videos as always we love seeing what you're getting up to